Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I want to share with you my Halloween amigurumis for June. So if you haven't been following along with me this year, I have been making three Halloween themed amigurumis uh, since January, with my goal being to make three a month through October. Uh, so that by Halloween night, I will have 30 amigurumis to leave out on our stoop, along with some candy for our neighborhood kids. So, uh, yeah, so this month, I, last couple months, I've been waiting until like the last week of the month to do this, but, uh, point is I got it done, so that's what's important. <laughs> so, this month I made this cute little ghost pattern. I have made this before in the past, I think like the last couple of years I've made these little ghosts, but, uh, I just think it's cute, so I made three more of them in one setting and they're really quick, but I made three of the Howl, the Howl, the Littlest Ghost. Look at them. <laughs> they're so cute. Uh, this is a free pattern by I think it was Tiffany Horton uh I'll have it linked below if you want to check it out but look how cute it is <laughs> uh all of the little pieces you see are crocheted on so it's only you know one piece <laughs> the only tail you have to weave in is this bottom tail and the top one if you're a person kind of people who weave that in but I usually don't <laughs> um and it's just stuffed and I used uh 12 millimeter safety eyes I like the big ones on this one it's so cute and then two of them I put a little smile on and one of them I just kind of put like a hmm, face, you know, like he's like, <laughs> he's like fed up with these two probably. These two are like joking and making fun of things and he's just like, whatever. <laughs> but I think these are so cute. I, I, I love these. Jesse wants me to make him one, so now i got to make another one. And um, these will be going into my little container that I have with all my other Halloween amigurumis in it. So now I just need July, August, September, and October. So I need 12 more amigurumis. Before I'll be done, I'll have 30 little Halloween amigurumis to leave out for the kitties here in my neighborhood. And uh, I did leave out like 9 or 10 of them last year and they were all got taken. So I think they're going to be excited this year when it's different things. Because last year it was just ghosts and they weren't these these ghosts. They were shorter and uh, I stitched on all the facing. So these ones are totally cuter <laughs> than last year's I think. So I'm excited to um, leave them out. I wish I had like a ring doorbell camera to... Uh, capture you know so I, just so i could see because we're not gonna be here halloween you know i have my own kids we'll be out doing our own thing but uh it'll be cute maybe i'll try to get a camera between now and then and put it up just so i can um see you know how they react to the amigurumis i think it'd be so cute but anyways i'll leave this pattern like below if you want to check it out i just use this is just red heart white and the black is just some black yarn that i uh separated you know uh this is two strands you know, where it's four ply, I split it down the middle, essentially, so it's two ply, technically. And, uh, I just think they're so cute. I love these little girls. So I can make a million of these. It's just cute. If I had more time, like if June would let me, I would love to make a whole bunch of little amigurumis like these ones to take with us to, like, trunk or treats and stuff to give to the people handing out candy. Because I think they would really appreciate that, you know. Because when you go there, they're always so excited to see the kids and hand out candy to all the kids, you know. It'd be fun to be able to take something to give to them. <laughs> but um, I just don't have the time to sit and make a ton of ghosts, I don't think. Uh, if June was a little bit more like Jessie was when he was her age, it would be. Back in my first videos in 2017, Jesse was about the same age that June is now. And uh, he was such a chill baby. He would just play, you know, play off by himself and let me do anything, you know. And she's the complete opposite. <laughs> she's almost always glued to me, wanting me to either hold her or be sitting with her. Um, so it's completely different. <laughs> I don't get to crochet as much as I would like to, but I still got to make these cute little guys. I don't think they're just adorable. I love them, <laughs> but I'll leave the pattern link below if you want to check them out and then come back in July sometime. Stuff is shifting where I have it piled up, <laughs> um, to see what I make for the July. Amigurumis. Bye guys.